Did you know? Azumanga Daioh's anime didn't start off as a TV series, but it actually started on the internet. Azumanga Web Dio is a 4-minute ONA, or original net animation, from the year 2000. Capitalizing on the marketing potential of the World Wide Web, the animation studio wanted to gauge the public's interest in Azumanga Daio and whether or not a full series was worth producing. Due to the positive reception received by the short webisode, the anime was quickly greenlit. Despite its overwhelming popularity and the fact that the anime was almost a shot for shot of the original manga, rumors arose suggesting that the creator, Kiyohiko Azuma, was dissatisfied with how it turned out. Speculation arose due to the fact that Azuma's other popular work, Yotsuba, had not immediately been greenlit for an anime of its own, because of an alleged friction with Azumanga Daio anime director Hiroshi Nishikiori and Chio's voice actress, Tomoko Kaneda. Azuma eventually had to address these rumors directly. He emphatically stated that the rumors were false, and laughed at the idea that there was ever friction between him and the two staff members. Yet, interestingly enough, Azuma did go out of his way to say that it's not good to have two people competing for control of an anime production. Speaking of the internet, Azumanga Daio has long been the wellspring of many internet-related tropes and memes. Homeroom teacher Yukari Tanizaki is credited as being the trope codifier for the popular Sensei-chan. Due to her immature behavior, the kids refer to her casually as Yukari-sensei before eventually just calling her Yukari-chan, which would normally be taboo in Japanese culture. The infamous Kimura-sensei is responsible for one of the most prevalent memes in anime fandom, my waifu. In episode 15, the girls are confused when Mr. Kimura drops a picture of a pretty woman who happens to actually be his wife. When they ask him who she is, he refers to her as my waifu, which the kids have a hard time believing. The Osaka shoe kick, also known as throwing the shoe and Osaka kicks shoe, a popular clip in the mid-2000s, comes from episode 6 when Ayumu Kasuga, aka Osaka, accidentally kicks her shoe into the back of a moving truck. The gesture of shoe kicking as seen in the meme is actually based on a children's tradition in Japan for forecasting the next day weather. Children loosen their shoes or sandals on their feet and kick one of them into the air. If the shoe lands right side up, the next day it will be nice and sunny. But if it lands upside down, it's a sign of incoming bad weather. And if it lands on its side, well, it's a mixture of both good and bad weather. On the subject of Japanese culture, Azumanga Daioh is filled to the brim with references, cultural nuances, and in-jokes. In episode 20, Tomo explains that she grew her hair out to look like Fujiko from Lupin the Third, but upon realizing she wouldn't be able to, settles for the Ayu look. Ayu is the nickname of Ayumi Hamazaki, a famous Japanese singer and actress who is often thought to be cute. In episode 21, her family being rich, Chio displays a 2,000 yen bill which impresses the others. This is significant to the others not for the amount on the bill, but much like the American $2 bill, are very rare in Japan. In the same episode, during their trip to Okinawa, Tomo annoys Yomi by constantly repeating the words Chinsuko and Ukon. Though Chinsuko, a type of biscuit, and Ukon, a type of tea, are popular souvenirs to get from Okinawa, the reason Tomo was interested in these particular items is because Chinsuko sounds similar to Chinko, the Japanese word for penis, and Ukon sounds similar to Unko, the word for poop. Speaking of food, in episode 1, Tomo asks Ayumu Kasuga about Japanese pizza, which is actually okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is a doughy bread dish containing either meat or vegetables that is closely associated with Osaka, and is often referred to as Osaka soul food. But while we're talking about episode 1, at the very end during the preview for episode 2, the gang tries to decipher the meaning of the title of the show. It actually has multiple references. In addition to being read as Great King Azumanga, the full title Azumanga Daio refers to a portmanteau of Azuma and Manga, which was used by Azuma to refer to his collective works. It also pays homage to monthly comic Dengeki Daio, the magazine which Azumanga Daio was originally published. Thanks for watching! We're Did You Know Anime, the anime trivia resource. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all the latest facts and trivia. And hey, if you like trivia, check out my show's Culture Shocking Game Exchange, where we discuss all kinds of multicultural references in video games old and new. But thanks for watching, everyone. This is Gaijin Kumba, signing out.